Hi there, this is Rob from The Property Man. I am here today at Harry Road in Reddish and what a treat I have for everybody today. It's fabulous three bedroom extended to the side, uh, semi-detached property. Uh, it's absolutely beautiful inside. Uh, ideal for first time buyers uh, or a growing family. Now, Harry Road is located uh, just very close uh, to Reddish Vale. Uh, it's literally a stone's throw away behind all these houses. What a lovely, quiet street it is. Uh, it's not cut through, nobody races round. Uh, very, very nice place to live. So as we uh, enter into the property, you've got this cr pressed concrete driveway here, um, which is, you can park two cars on there easily. There are no restrictions on the road with parking. So you will be able to park other cars on the road as well. Just before we go in, um, there is uh, some other benefits, which like does have an outside power socket uh, there, which is great for jet washing or vacuuming your car out, etc. So as we go into the property, uh, you have this uh, little porch area here, which is great for kicking your shoes off, which is exactly what I'm going to do uh, right now, because the floors are lovely in here and I don't want to get them messy. So I'll just take my shoes off. Super, right, so entrance hallway. Um, I believe these are hopefully the original floorboards, um, but they're very nicely presented. They're all sanded down and varnished, uh, done to a very good standard. And I think it sort of makes the property, the flooring in here uh, and the nice use of colours that we've got as well. So nice big wide hallway here. Uh, you've got your um, uh, radiators here, which are like a classic style radiator. Now this property is extended to the side um, so part of the extension, there is this uh, storeroom here, but this would make uh, a perfect little home office if needed. Um, if not, somewhere just to pop all your bits and bobs and like, like the owners here, all the shoes, etc. keeps it out of the way of the hallway. It's a great little space there. We'll go into the main living room, uh, stroke dining room. So if you've seen the photographs of this property, you see how lovely it is. So it's been opened up uh, at some point. So you have your dining area to the front here. And there, there is a half square bay window, uh, which is all UPVC double glazed. And again, you have um, all these ra beautiful radiators throughout and the uh, stripped wood flooring uh, that flows all the way to the end. So great size dining room. With well, this square arch that then leads to the living area. Again, really good size sofas in here, so you can see how much space you have in this property. And then you have your um, your gas fire, which is um, mounted into the chimney breast uh, at a good level. And then at the rear here, you have these UPVC uh, French doors. Now this is a, a small little extended bit here. So originally the doors would have been in this archway, but uh, a few years ago, they popped this um, uh, this, this small French doors with the side glass in, uh, just to give you uh, a little bit more light and open the room up. And it obviously leads out to the garden here. Now the garden, uh, the sun comes up in the morning. So you get the sun in the morning and then it comes all over the house. So all afternoon from about 10, 11 o'clock, you get the sun uh, into the garden. Unfortunately today, uh, we don't have a sunny day, um, but it is a, a, a nice peaceful garden. So I'll take you into the kitchen. So I really like this kitchen. I think they've done a super job of it. Um, you've got uh, the uh, great laminate flooring that flows throughout. And you've got French doors that again lead out to the garden as well. You've got your nice contemporary uh, slimline radiator at the side. It's super warm in here. And whilst the radiator is thin, uh, it's, it's very warm in this kitchen. Really nice kitchen with a mix of gray and white uh, wall and base units. And I think it works really well in here. Uh, so I'll run through a few benefits of this kitchen. So you've got a Neff uh, five ring range hob and you have lots of cupboard space. These are huge pan drawers in here. I'll open just one of them so you can see how much space you do get in there. And then you have this, um, this timber worktop here, uh, which obviously has your uh, uh, sunken sink in there too. You do have space here for a tall fridge freezer. Uh, this beautiful fridge will be going with the vendors, but uh, you've got plenty of room there. And then on this side, you have plenty of space for dining area or even a small sofa if you wanted it in there. Now this cupboard here just goes under the stairs, little click and it opens. And again, they have a freezer under there 
microwave, etc. But really handy storage again, and nicely hidden. And this is painted in chalkboard paint, so it's always good for kids to have a doodle. So at the side extension, you've got these lovely uh, Velux windows that allow lots of natural light into the property. Uh, and again, more cupboard space. So you've got cupboards, tall cupboards, you've got your double Neff oven in there, and then you have like a pull-out lava pantry in there, which is, which is great. But this is the bit I really like. So you just think it ends there. Open this cupboard. And here you have a small hidden utility room where you can put a washer and dryer. Keeps it all out the kitchen and just a great use of space. Close the door and it's all hidden away. Perfect. I'll take you out into the garden at the end, uh, but I'll take you upstairs and show you the, uh, the bedrooms upstairs. So upstairs uh, we have three bedrooms. Two are really good sized doubles and then you have uh, a great size single bed in here. I'll take you into uh, the main bedroom, which is at the rear. However, they use the front bedroom as the main bedroom, but this is the largest room. They're using this as a spare bedroom stroke home office at the moment, because like a lot of people are working from home. So as you can see, really great, really good size. You've got this exposed brick chimney breast in there. And again, all the floorboards are sanded and exposed, which makes a really good sized bedroom here. And you could imagine a big double bed, all your wardrobes, and you still have plenty of room. Into bedroom two, which is located at the front. Again, very tastefully decorated in here, really good size. And again, chimney breast in the centre, so you've got room for wardrobes and chests of drawers, etc. And again, great size bedroom in here. Bedroom three is located at the front. And what I like about this bedroom, you're not restricted with the bulkhead that goes over the stairs, so it is a, uh, a true square bedroom. Um, I'll just show you this area here. And again, very tastefully decorated, all nice and white in there and grey carpets throughout. And then finally, we'll go into the bathroom. So the bathroom in here has uh, underfloor heating, which is controlled from that panel there. So you've got tiled flooring and obviously we don't have any shoes on today and I'm standing on here and it's lovely and toasty warm. Uh, and what they've done with this bathroom They've utilised the space absolutely perfect. So you've got um, a wall-mounted uh, square sink on there. You've got a nice full-size bath with centre taps. And then you have your uh, toilet there. But the great thing here is you have this large corner shower unit, which is all tiled in these lovely grey tiles. Uh, and it's all fed from the combi boiler. Upstairs, oh, sorry, up in the loft, there is a, a, that hatch drops down and there are some timber ladders that fold out. Uh, the loft is boarded and up in the loft is the central heating boiler. Now that boiler was installed about two or three months ago. Uh, so it does have a brand new uh, heating system in here. And that heating system be, can be controlled by Alexa, it can be controlled off an app, uh, or there is a little panel downstairs where you can control all the heating. So this fabulous property is available for sale. Um, and oh, I've not shown you the garden. Let's show you the garden. So I'm gonna pick my shoes up. Let's have a look. So we'll go out through these French doors here. Now in the garden at the rear, you've got this lovely sort of grass area here. And then you have this patio area where you can enjoy all the sun in the evening. Again, you've got power sockets here at the back. You've got an outside tap and there's a little timber shed just sat in the corner there. Um, it's very private. Uh, one thing I've noticed is it's extremely quiet here. Uh, the neighbours are lovely. The vendors have had a great relationship with the neighbours over the years. Um, and there's not many of these houses that come available. So um, it's a really nice community here. And that's one thing that I quite liked when we took this property on. 
So I'll go back inside. I'm just going to take my shoes off again. So this property is available for sale. And if you'd like to arrange a viewing on this property, you can contact us on 0161 519 8855. That's 0161 519 8855. Or you can email us sales at thepropertyman.co.uk. That's sales at thepropertyman.co.uk. And that's Rob Smith from The Property Man here today at Harry Road in Reddish. Thank you.